or you just like, I don't know what you're on about, it's easy, I'm a millionaire. Um, Welcome everybody, Russ McDonough, aka The Nomadic Veteran, and welcome to Van Life Georgia. Oh, sorry, I forgot. We swapped this van for this. Come on in. This is our shed garden, so, pretty awesome. Uh, if you hadn't have guessed by now, an Airbnb uh, and we'll go into the reasons why in a little bit but this is an Airbnb for three months and the reason we wanted a place with a garden was obviously two o'clock in the morning it's not really much fun taking the boys out leads on all that good stuff when you're wild camping however nice garden it is a shared garden but we don't ever see anyone really sharing it with us so that's great uh, so it's great to just let the boys out do their wheeze do their poos everyone's happy Let's go inside. Yeah. He's still rolling. Yeah. Oh, do I not? Oh, I unlocked it already. Right. First thing you'll know or we'll notice is two crazy dogs. We we brought them with us. <laughs> hey! Oh, hello. Hey, Cooksy! You're good boys. Come on, let's have a look around. <coughs> hello, I know. Are you gonna do the talk? Yeah. And welcome to our uh, humble abode for hopefully the next three months. But funny story with that, and I will spin that bit in a bit. Anyways, not to teach you how to suck eggs, this is our kitchen. Um, isn't it, Cook? Again, it's a normal style kitchen, it's great, it's spacious. Uh, it's really spacious actually for us because if you imagine in the van, uh, I'd probably say this is the width of our kitchen, <laughs> so it's it's like we've got this and then we've got all that down there and, it's, and we've got so much storage, we can have loads of scran in here. We've got a huge fridge freezer which is brilliant. Admittedly we're probably not taking advantage of the freezer at the moment but it's really great to have just a, a big space for us. And I think also Cookie and Uchi actually like having all that space as well. They're not cooped up in the kitchen or in the, in the van as such. Um, next up is your living room. Standard living room. Couple of chairs, TV, which has not actually been turned on once yet, so that's quite good. But it is in Georgian, so why would we? Um, what I would say, actually, and again, this isn't the world's biggest apartment, because one, we don't need a big place to kind of, you know, chill out in. But it feels massive to us, and we've been in here now for nearly two weeks, because we've been living in a van for close to two years. This feels huge, uh, and it also gives you a massive appreciation for like, uh, I'll just name a couple of things. Running water, like I know we've got running water in the van, but you have to always be aware that you've only got a limited amount. Whereas here, not that we leave the taps on running for like 20 minutes and we're like, look at the running water. It's just nice to know that there's, you're not gonna run out of water. Showers, hot showers, awesome. Uh, wash machine, how great is it that we can just, when we have dirty clothes or dirty bed linen, we can wash it. It's fantastic and it's, you have now, we have like this massive appreciation for the little things in life and those little things are pretty awesome. Anyway, let's show you quickly around. We have a spare bedroom. I know there's only two of us, uh, but we've got a spare bedroom, which doesn't even get used. It's got a pull-up bar in it. That didn't come with the Airbnb, that's mine. We've also got a couple of kettlebells in here, so we keep our fizz kit in here, just as and when we want to do crack a little bit of fizz. Uh, and then it's got an ensuite shower as well, which is which is great. Uh, but again, we try and stay out of this room as much as possible. And then we've got the actual main bathroom, which is bigger than our van, uh, <laughs> which is great. Washing machine in here. Yeah. Obviously, as as we head in every country, they seem to do it differently. And we've noticed as we head further east, people tend to keep their washing machines in the in the bathroom and not in the kitchen. Maybe that's just a Brit thing, I don't know. Uh, it's got a shower, which is glorious. Uh, wash machine, toilet, what more do you want? It's the little things in life. Uh, and then finally, follow me. Uh, I will show you, you shush your man. I will show you our bedroom. And if this isn't like the world's biggest bed, I don't know what is. Yeah, uh, it's huge. It's massive. <clears throat> so the world's biggest bed, I 
That's all there is to it. We brought, uh, oh, our fans disappeared. <laughs> Must have put it away to make the place look tidy. Because um, we obviously, we're staying here for three months, we've brought most of the van stuff down here to make it feel like home. Because one, we need it, and two, like I said, it makes it feel like home. So we have a little Dyson fan just to keep it cool at night. But it's all you need. And then we've even got this walk-in wardrobe uh, where we keep wardrobe stuff. But it's great. It's again. It's you know we've managed to bring all our clothes down here, wash all our clothes. Uh, so that was great. Um, and that is about it, isn't it? Where cookies up there is where the treats are. So he remembers, don't you? Getting very antsy. But yeah. So um, what you're probably thinking actually is why are you renting an Airbnb for three months when you've got a perfectly good van? and you're living the hashtag van life, and that is what I'll answer now. Right, first things first, I've completely forgotten to tell you where we are. We are uh, in Tbilisi, which is in Georgia, uh, which is Eastern Europe, and it's the capital city of Georgia, so there's some uh, knowledge for you, you're welcome. Um, right, what did I say? I was gonna tell you about the dog story. Basically, we have booked to stay here for three months. A uh, little bit of confusion when we booked on someone's part, I'm not pointing fingers, um, but they were unaware that we had Cookie and Each. So when we rocked up in the van, all like mega excited and that, and they were like, what are those? And we were like, that's Cookie and Each, isn't it? Um, they were like, we don't allow pets. So it was kind of a bit of a standoff at the very beginning. And then luckily they saw how adorable they are. Uh, and we promised that they wouldn't destroy their garden that they said all right we'll do a month basis uh, and then after a month we're going to reassess so hopefully they'll let us stay for another two um, and obviously they're well behaved little boys anyway um, and then oh the other question which you're probably asking yourself is oh like I touched on before was why why are you renting an, an Airbnb when you've got the van and, the, and you, you're traveling <clears throat> essentially it comes down to the fact that to fund our travels we have businesses and we have projects and I'm not sure if this is this if this is for every van life who's obviously trying to make a, a living on the road but we find running businesses on the road really difficult I'm not sure whether that's just us I'm not sure whether it's because we don't have much of a routine because every day on van life is different we just find it really difficult to get shit done essentially um, so what we wanted to do was we wanted to kind of have a bit of stability hunker down for three months and just do some work. Like, uh, we've obviously got the coffee business. Gibbo's got some projects of her own. Uh, I've got a couple of new projects on my own. Stay tuned. Um, and then also what is really great about being, like having a little bit of stability is we can also pursue our own sort of like interests. So Tbilisi with everything, all the restrictions kind of opening up. They've got gyms again. They've got uh, Hoochie. Uh, they've got um, they've got obviously got Hoochie. Um, they've got uh, they've got jiu-jitsu clubs, and it just means I can actually. It's little things like that which you miss being out on the road. You don't really get to do, or it's not as easy to do. So it's 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 something we want a little bit of normality. Um, what does that mean in terms of van life? We're still going to go on weekends away, weekend warrior type uh, type type shenanigans. Um, and also, the, the, one of the reasons we decided to do this in Georgia is because unlike many other countries, whether it be in the Schengen zone or even Turkey, you've only got three months in Georgia. We've got a year, so we've come here, we've got three months in the, in the apartment, and that gives us nine months, if we so choose to, to go do van life in Georgia. I don't think we will spend nine months van life in Georgia, it's quite tiny, but it's, it's great to have that flexibility there. So, yeah, that is, um, that is essentially it. So. If you do enjoy watching the channel, we're still going to continue making uh, videos. We're still going to keep exploring the four of us. It just means we also need to get on and do a bit of work. Yeah. Anyway, I think we've covered everything. Gibbo, have we covered everything? Yeah, I think so. We have. Um, stay tuned for new projects. Right, usual admin. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, baby. Um, if you would like to leave a comment, um, and what I'd like to actually hear about is other van lifers who are running online businesses. How do you find running a business while you're traveling? Do you, is it just me and Gibbo who struggle to do it? Or do you go, yeah, it is quite difficult to do it. Or are you just like, I don't know what you're on about. It's easy. I'm a millionaire. Um, <laughs> uh, 
Uh, what else? If you want to share the video, sharing is caring, and of course, su subscribe to the channel. We're still going to be making videos. Like I said, Weekend Warriors. It's going to be great. Probably knock it down to one video a week, though. Cool? Cool. Anyway, subscribe already. Leaders.